before we start, if you see my finger and wonder what's going on, I managed to cut myself while peeling carrots. Unfortunately, it's not anything cooler. It's just literally that, I'm afraid. The championship constantly has new stars breaking out all the time, and 2022 is going to be no different. The amount of young talent plying their trade in the second tier right now is genuinely enlightening to see. It's great to see so many young players who are playing regular football and also tearing it up at the same time. Well, which players are going to make 2022 their year? Let's find out right now. I'm Ryan Dukes from the second tier and here are five players in the championship who I think are going to make 2022 their year. Number five, Tyrese Campbell. It felt a bit odd putting Tyrese Campbell in this list because he's not exactly a hot prospect who hasn't had a breakthrough yet. He's someone who had a breakthrough, then has had a bad injury and needs to break through again. In his first full season of Championship Football, if you can even call it a first season, he was tearing it up for Stoke. He was playing on the wing and also as a striker and scoring goals for fun, setting up goals for fun. He was just basically Stoke's best attacking player. But then he suffered a serious injury which kept him out of the Stoke side for pretty much the whole of 2021 and he's only really got back into the thick of things with Stoke in the past month or so. But already we have started to see signs that he is still the same player and he's slowly getting back to that player that we saw before and that's why I think 2022 could be a really, really good year for Tyrese Campbell. He's a brilliant finisher, he can dribble, he can set up goals, he can play on the left, he can play up front. Basically, he's all you want in a striker and that's why I think he's going to have a really, really good 2022, especially because Stoke have had quite a few injury problems, so players like him really need to step up for the Potters. Number four, John Buckley. John Buckley is really Blackburn's unsung hero. Well, I say unsung, Blackburn fans appreciate him, but outside of Ewood Park, he doesn't nearly get the amount of appreciation that he deserves. He's only 22 and has played the majority of Blackburn's games this season, but has had to do it in a load of different positions, really. He's had to play in centre mid, which is his natural position. He's had to play at number 10. He's even had to play a few games at right back, but wherever he's played, he's done it superbly. He's a great passer of the ball, he can dribble, he's just very composed, he's got great intelligence for someone so young and I think he's only going to get better and better. He may still go a bit under the radar as someone who's underrated by those outside of Ewood Park but as long as he keeps ticking over nicely and playing as well as he has done so far this season for Rovers, he's only going to get better and better. He's also great defensively and he can work hard as well. That's probably the main reason why, he get, why he's just so underrated because he does all the hard work that you don't really expect a young player to do, but as I say, he's done it really, really well so far. Number three, Ruben Colwell. Now for anyone who watched the video where I picked a player who I think is going to be a Premier League player from each championship side, you'll have remembered that Ruben Colwell was who I picked for Cardiff. And nothing's changed because he has still been getting better and better every week for Cardiff. Only 19 years old, he's quickly become one of Cardiff's most important players. Before he was a number 10 who was showing great intelligence, he's great at threading balls through. But recently he's become more of a goal threat and has had to even play a few games on the wing. But wherever Steve Morrison has asked him to play, he's done a great job. The fact he is such an important player for Cardiff at such a young age really makes me think that he's just going to get better and better. And he's doing it, and he is doing it. He's doing it at an alarming rate, which is why I think 2022 could be his year. He's got a manager who fully believes in playing young players, and Ruben Colwell is the best young player you've got at Cardiff at the moment, and one of the best young players in the Championship, and even for Wales, where he's been getting international recognition as well. So someone definitely to keep an eye on for not just people at Cardiff, but people outside of the Cardiff City Stadium. Number two, Brennan Johnson. Brennan Johnson's been really exciting for Forrest so far this season. He has had a few spells where he hasn't really impacted games as much as you'd like, but when he is on top form, he is a top, top player. He showed at Lincoln last season what kind of a player he can be. He's a great dribbler, provides a big goal threat, he can cross the ball. But recently in the Championship, he's made that step up and has started to add goal contributions to his name. He's scored plenty of goals, he's set up plenty of goals and has really been Forrest's main attacking threat. Considering he's only 20, it's quite impressive that he has become that at Forest. but there's no surprise that with that there has been plenty of Premier League interest coming his way and it may be hard for Forrest to keep a hold of him, not, not just next summer but also in January because he has been playing that well for the Tricky Trees. 
If he does stay in the championship with Forrest, then make no mistake about it. He will be a brilliant, brilliant player for them in the second half of the season. And with a Forrest side who seem to be getting better each week under Steve Cooper, Brennan Johnson is going to be so important to that continuing. So Brennan Johnson is definitely someone I look at as someone who is going to make 2022 his own. And my number one player who's going to make 2022 his year is Morgan Gibbs-White. It's been quite frightening how good Morgan Gibbs-White has been this season. Considering Sheffield United haven't been that good, you can clearly see the quality Gibbs-White has. I don't think it would be any overreaction to say he's one of the most exciting young English players we've got at the moment. Despite him not playing at the Premier League level yet, it surprises me that he hasn't done more, to be quite honest, because it's clear to me that he is a Premier League player and he's shown that at Sheffield United so far. Once he goes back to Wolves, I have no doubt that surely he's got to finally get a chance at Wolves. For a number 10, he honestly can do it all. He can score goals. His intelligence is incredible. He can set up chances. He can dribble. Everything you basically want in a number 10, this lad has got. And kind of similar to Brennan Johnson at Forest, Sheffield United are another side who look like they're going to have a really, really good 2022 because the early signs under Paul Heckingbottom have been really promising and Morgan Gibbs-White is one of the players in particular who has really stood out for Sheffield United since Heckingbottom took over. <coughs> if Sheffield United are going to be a force to be reckoned with in the second half of the season, Morgan Gibbs-White is going to be the player that they'll look to to be the, uh, the catalyst for everything good that comes out of Bramall Lane. I don't think Morgan Gibbs-White is going to be one of those players who just plays really, really well in 2022. He could very well be the best player in the championship in 2022. Mark my words, he is a quality player, someone who's getting better and better each week. And that's why I'm quite scared of the kind of player that he could end up being. So there we have it. My five players who I think are going to make 2022 their own in the championship. Who do you think is going to have a breakout year next year? Let me know in the comments section below. 2022 is going to be a massive year for all of us, especially us at the second tier. So make sure you subscribe for more content like this and you'll be able to see our videos as and when. Please also like the video as well because it helps us no end and will make us into a bigger channel and we can put out more stuff like this. So this has been the second tier. I've been Ryan Dilks. Thank you for watching. We'll be back again very soon.